In the Billions series, Axe Capital is a multi-billion dollar hedge fund that aims to deliver high returns for its investors. They occasionally come up with brilliant Short. ideas. It'll slide to 32 and change after word breaks. But there's no consistency. Wow. That'll save us 10 million on this trade. And most days, it is a struggle. Saying with Stop cash talking. on hand. I'm not gonna take any of this dog shit back to Axe. And it's not just the Axe team. It's really hard to find an edge in financial markets. Around the world, most funds do not outperform their benchmarks over the long term. So how can we find an edge in the markets? And can you do it even if you're not a billion dollar hedge fund? To answer, I'll get the help of an expert, Jim Osman, the founder of the Edge Consulting Group. There's three ways people can make money these days. You're gonna be faster. Get the information quick and you're gonna execute on it. The high frequency and algorithmic approach to trading. We saw that Taylor tried to introduce it. Quant is another word for systemized ordered thinking. It didn't go down well. Quant is just another word for wild fucking guess with math. You're just not going to do that. Your robots are going to be quicker than that. It's not in the DNA of Axe Capital. The second way to make money these days, know something that someone doesn't. Okay, it was based on an unsolicited tip. This is something familiar to Axe Capital. Two and a half million dollar position. It will lead you into trouble. Based on a rumor. And the last way you make money is by analyzing something better than the masses. Special situations, spin-offs, activist ideas is the area where Jim operates. Any special situation, that anything there is a catalyst within the stock that will move the stock. We discussed Vivendi and its spin-off, Universal Music Group. We also spoke about Harley Davidson, who announced a new CEO and locking a great amount of value. What we get is the anomaly or some sort of transformational change. We break our analysis in three ways. We look at the fundamentals, we look at the breakout values, we look at the transformational values, what they become down the line. I can see Taylor doing that type of research. We look at the technicals where when the spin-off happens, that could fall out of an index and that can create real selling pressure, technical selling pressure, which is not natural. And if it's not natural, then it provides opportunity. So we quantify that. And that's a great job for Ben Kim, who's detail-oriented and focused. And there's the last piece in terms of analysis, as you were here to, is the insiders. And that requires someone who's good at digging information. They know how to turn companies around. They know what P&L is. They know how to get the share price up. I am not uncertain. A great job for dollar bill, except this time it's legal and public information for a change. But reallocating resources may not be enough. You need data for a historical perspective. And we have a database of 20 years of 30 years of looking at this. For example, it's not enough to spot insider buying. Some of these management are very good at buying their own stock and some of them are not. You need to understand what motivates the purchase and the track record of the person doing it. Just like one information. Scott Caswitz's name is being floated as the new chairman. Unlocks everything in Axe's mind in the first episode. But Jim and his team apply a systematic approach to it. Axe Capital could simply sign up to receive ideas in their inbox from the Edge Consulting Group. And it's not just for hedge fund managers. There's a special package for nimble investors. Outsourcing the idea generation process may sound unusual in the investment management world. This can unlock a lot of value but requires a new mindset where you get actionable insights from experts who focus solely on special situations while you keep focusing on everything else. As usual, there's links with more information below. In particular, you can find out more about the Edge Consulting Group. Always remember, this is not investment advice. Seek education, diversify your portfolio and your people, manage your risk. Investing is for the long term. I see you next time.